We begin tonight with the passing of Ivana Trump, former President Trump's first wife and the mother of their three oldest children, Don Jr., Ivanka, and Eric. She helped build the Trump empire, and after their very public divorce, she kept the family name. We have learned she was found unresponsive in her Manhattan apartment at the bottom of the stairs, paramedics responding to an emergency call. It was her ex-husband, the former president, who announced her death on social media. Ivana Trump was Czech-born and a model when she met and then married Donald Trump. They were a force on the New York City scene in the 1980s. Tonight's son, Eric Trump, releasing this photo of the family when the children were young. And then decades later, Ivana Trump with her adult children and their spouses. The very bruised relationship with her ex-husband eventually became a friendship again. In fact, Ivana Trump said there were talks of offering her an ambassadorship during the Trump administration. And what she said about that idea, Amy Robach, who interviewed Ivana Trump not so long ago on the passing of Ivana Trump. She helped her husband build an empire well before he won the White House. And tonight, the former president and his children mourning Ivana Trump. The NYPD responding to a 911 call shortly after noon from her apartment on Manhattan's Upper East Side. The 73-year-old was found at the bottom of the stairs, unconscious and unresponsive. She was pronounced dead on the scene. Her ex-husband announcing her death on social media. I am very saddened to inform all of those that loved her, of which there are many, that Ivana Trump has passed away at her home in New York City. He said she was a wonderful, beautiful, and amazing woman who led a great and inspirational life. Her pride and joy were her three children, Donald Jr., Ivanka, and Eric. She was so proud of them, as we were all so proud of her. Rest in peace, Ivana. Eric Trump seen tonight leaving his mother's home. It's been a very sad day, guys. Very sad day. Earlier, he posted this picture and a statement from the family. Our mother was an incredible woman, a force in business, a world-class athlete, a radiant beauty, and caring mother and friend. Ivana Trump was a survivor. She fled from communism and embraced this country. She taught her children about grit and toughness, compassion and determination. Ivana Trump met her future husband in 1976. She was a model, he a budding mogul. The next year, they were married. The look and the brain and the energy and the really potentials. You know, Donald always had a great head on his shoulder, and I saw the potential. Really. She's a very nice woman, a very nice person. She's a friend. She's a lot of things. Together, they were the ultimate 80s power couple, crafting an image of glamour and excess, coupled with business savvy. She had a nickname for him, and it stuck, the Donald. As a boss, you have to be a leader, and you have to say what you want. You have to tell them, you have to motivate them. But it didn't last, and just as the tabloids documented their marriage, they ran with their divorce. And Ivana Trump becoming known for something else, her grit and resilience. Ladies, they have to be strong and independent. And remember, what? Don't get mad, get everything. <laughs> She went on to launch businesses of her own, a clothing line, jewelry, writing several books about her relationship with her ex-husband. When we sat down in 2017, Ivana Trump told me her ex-husband, by then the president, had offered to name her ambassador to the Czech Republic. Donald called me and he said, if you want to take the position, I give it to you. But I said, I would not have a freedom. Bye-bye to, to Miami in the winter, bye-bye to New York in spring and fall, bye-bye to Saint-Tropez when I spent all summer long. So I declined. I asked her how they were able to stay friends after such a public split. The two of you have remained good friends. How does that happen? Donald during the divorce was brutal. He took the divorce as a business deal and he cannot lose. He has to win. So it took about two years. And after the final situation was, um, was straightened up, we just talk and we are friends. How often do you two talk? Talk about once a 14 days. I have the direct number to White House, but I don't really want to call him there because Melania is there, and I don't want to cause any kind of jealousy or something like that because I'm basically first Trump wife, okay? <laughs> I'm first lady, okay? <laughs> She made that clear to Amy. Uh, one of the final network interviews with Ivana Trump and Amy, she was just 73 years old. A lot of people are going to be asking, are there any early indications, any word on what led to her death? David, right now police are investigating whether she fell down the stairs and whether that in any way contributed to her death. There were no signs of forced entry, no signs of foul play, so that investigation can you, continues tonight as the Trump family mourns. Yes. All right, Amy, I know you're anchoring GMA in the morning. You'll have much more then. We'll see you then.